quiet neighborhood in Lompoc is now becoming the canvas for gang graffiti. The neighbors are fearful that these tigers will keep coming back. The question remains, whose responsibility is it to cover that graffiti up? As KSBY's Melissa Newman explains, an outdated city ordinance could make the homeowners have to pay to clean it up. This graffiti here off of Orchid Avenue is the latest addition to a growing alleyway full of graffiti. Now, according to the city ordinances, as of right now, the city is responsible to not only provide the paints to cover up this graffiti, but the crew to do it as well. The city says, however, they no longer have those resources. To know that people are just going up and down this alley at night and possibly during the day, it's scary. It really is. Cody Thomas was taking out the trash last week when he discovered this graffiti in the alleyway behind his house. And in the past few days, the taggings have grown. This is a older neighborhood with uh, families that have children who come up and down this alley to play football. And the fact that people are skulking around in the middle of the night, uh, tagging up people's personal properties, makes me feel personally unsafe to be just in my house a couple doors down. Now Thomas and his neighbors are looking for answers. The city's graffiti ordinance says it will help property owners cover graffiti within 48 hours of it being reported, providing the paint and the crew to paint over it. But Lompoc police say that ordinance is outdated. Originally in the 90s, the we had a number of volunteers that would go out and would assist with that. Uh, we no longer have those volunteers and we don't have the resources to do it. Despite what the ordinance says, it's now up to the homeowner to cover the graffiti. And if publicly visible graffiti is not covered within five days, the property owner can be cited. If somebody breaks your window and commits a vandalism, which is what graffiti is, it's not the police department's job to come and replace your window at the city's cost. It's your private property. Paint is vandalism, it's graffiti, it is the property owner's job to cover up or remove that paint. Lompoc Police Department says the best way to report graffiti is through their app. If you upload a picture, it geotags the location of where the picture was taken, which allows officers to have an idea of where the graffiti might be. In Lompoc, Melissa Newman, KSBY News. Lompoc PD says they have an open community service officer position that is supposed to help with graffiti control, but the position is currently frozen due to lack of funding. They hope the city council will address the issue soon.